Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be doing a review of Jasmine and Aladdin limited edition dolls released by the Disney Store. Now Jasmine was originally a pre-order back in August of 2015 and then they finally released her in October and they also had surprise dolls which was Aladdin and Jafar. So today I decided to do a review of Jasmine and Aladdin together just as I think as I said there's such beautiful dolls and they go so well together they complement each other so much and that's why I wanted to do a review of them together now I love this Jasmine doll I loved the stock photo when we first saw it and then in the box she's just so beautiful so let's get to it guys I hope you enjoyed this review right on top of the box we have the Disney Store logo in red and we have ages six and up now the box is really beautiful the frame is very like Arabian Nights and they have a lot of little gems and stuff that looks very good because they made them look really 3D and it just matches the doll perfectly. On the bottom we have limited edition 1 of 5000 and of course Jasmine. On the side it's pretty much the same frame going around and you can take a really good look at her and she looks gorgeous from the side. It's a lot of purples and red and green and it's just very beautiful. Now the back of the box, we see the same big purple gem that we've been seeing all around. There's really pretty designs. It kind of looks like a carpet almost. If you guys want to read that, go ahead and pause. I'm not a good reader. That's why I don't read for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's in French as well. Of course, it includes a certificate and a stand. And right there we see the price, which is $119.95. And here's my certificate of authenticity. Jasmine's face is gorgeous and I'm usually not a fan of the glowy, uh, greasy kind of skin look that Disney Store was doing for a while, but on her, because of her skin tone, it actually looks really, really good. She is beautiful. She has really long rooted eyelashes. Her eyes are brown and they have a lot of different shades of brown and they're very pretty. Her makeup is gold and green. She's just a beautiful doll. Alrighty guys, so I just want to show you what she looks like in the box really quick because I do have her deboxed and I feel like we might get a closer and better look at her out of the box. So this is just for you guys to get an idea of the pose and how she's placed in the box overall. But yeah, definitely this doll is full of details. The whole back of this dress has rhinestones and gems and it's just beautiful. So I feel like this is a nice look, but definitely you'll appreciate her way more out of the box. Okay, and here's Jasmine out of the box, and my only pet peeve with her is the fact that her hair is so long and heavy. It's really good quality, but it's so heavy that it pulls her head back. So you definitely have to play a lot with her to get her to pose just right, because it's just, it's, it's a lot of hair, <laughs> but it's very beautiful. Now her crown is gorgeous. She has a lot of rhinestones, and as you see, a big teal um, gem right on the top. Her hairstyle is very pretty too and she has all this like gold chains going around it all the way to the bottom. Her accessories are amazing. As you see her earrings are gold with the teal rhinestones. Her necklace matches the crown in her head and it matches the belt or I guess yeah I guess it's sort of a belt that she has. Look at the belly button uh, that's so cute that they added a little rhinestone there. Also, her bracelets are amazing. They're sculpted very nicely, painted gold with rhinestones. Beautiful. Her skirt is incredible. And this is something you don't see when she's in the box. It's really big and super detailed. And the detail goes all the way to the back. This thing store was not cheap with her at all. <laughs> because the whole bottom part is basically embroidery and rhinestones. And that's a lot of hard work. And I appreciate that. Thank you, Disney store. Because sometimes you get a doll and when you turn her around, there's nothing happening and I hate that. So I'm really happy that Disney Store went all out. There's rhinestones all over this dress. Or skirt, sorry. Look at those details. It's very um, inspired by peacocks and stuff like that. So it's really beautiful. You see each little thing, each little gold flower or whatever you want to call that has a rhinestone on it. And oops, I almost forgot to show you guys the bodice. It's incredibly detailed. 
It looks like feathers and it's all embroidery with beautiful rhinestones on it. It's such a gorgeous top for her. Her shoes are pretty awesome and they're gold. Very simple but very beautiful and it matches the doll's overall look. Now we have Aladdin and as you see on top of the box the Disney Store logo in red. We have ages 6 and up and the frame is pretty similar to Jasmine's box but there's more purple and red on this one. He looks amazing, um, the pose that they gave him. On the bottom we see limited edition, one of 3,500. On the side of the box is really cool because we actually get to see the front of Aladdin because we don't see that since he's facing to the side. The frame is beautiful, it's all red and purples. I think it's maybe like a navy blue. I'm not sure, I'm not good with colors either guys. <laughs> but yeah, you see all the rhinestones and the gems and it's very Arabian and I just love that. Um, if you guys want to read, this is the time to pause. It's in English and in French. Right on the bottom, of course, it tells you that it includes the certificate and the stand and the retail price was $119.95. <laughs> and here's the certificate. And it's also English in the front and French in the back. Aladdin is wearing his little red hat and it's really awesome because they actually attached it on there so it won't come off and the material is really good too. And for one second here, let's appreciate the fact that they added Abu. Look how cute he is. I'm just so happy that they included him and they didn't have to but I love it and I love the way he's sitting on there. He's sculpted very well. He's very well painted too and he just looks awesome. He looks like he came straight out of the movie. Look at his little hat and his vest. He's amazing. Now, when it comes to Aladdin's face, I actually didn't like him when I saw the stock photos. I thought he looked horrible. But when I saw him in person, I just couldn't pass. He looks amazing. It's such an awesome and unique doll. His hair is, of course, uh, rooted, which I love that they do that for the 17-inch boys. His eyebrows are on fleek. I love them. His eyes are beautiful, too. And the expression is so like him. So that's why, in person, I just couldn't pass on him. He's amazing. Now, as we know, Aladdin is poor and his outfit is really, really simple in the movie, but they went out of their way to the Disney store to give, them, give him a very cool design. As you see, his belt is full of embroidery. His vest is incredible. And I mean, the whole reason why they placed him this way in the box is so that you can see the beautiful embroidery work on that vest. It's incredible. It's purple and gold. It's just so beautiful. I don't know what they did or what it's supposed to mean, but it's so beautiful and so well done. And Disney Store put so much work in this outfit. And I'm also very happy that they included the sword. I would have preferred the lamp, but the sword looks really good. It has three rhinestones on the bottom and it's red. And of course, the sword is painted silver and he looks really cool with it. They gave him a really, really good pose. His pants are baggy like they are in the movie and they gave him really, really cool um, actual pockets. Like you can actually put something in there. And for a while I had made a lamp and I had a lamp in there, which I think it's pretty cool. Um, I also like the way they post them in the box. As you see, he's like taking a step forward. And I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see, I think you can see it, that his outfit is really, really good. The material is just amazing. Also, it's very hard to see because it's facing the inside of the box, but they actually included his patches right on the bottom of his pants. Alrighty guys, well that is all for today. Um, as I said earlier, I love these dolls and I love them together. I definitely think that you should add them to your collection. If you don't already have them, you need both because they complement each other so, so much. Anyways, um, they do show up on eBay all the time for pretty good prices, so good luck if you want to get them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.